and oops I just dug my finger into it of course I did <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the 2021 introduction for Pan Those Eyeshadows. This project was originally created by Alexi who I will have down in the description box and in 2021 she is getting back on the bandwagon to say so I'll be putting her introduction video for her 2021 um, series up in the cards. Also, down in the description box, I'll put a few other people who I know have done this project in the past who have heavily inspired me um, to take this project on board. So just a quick reminder what this project is all about. It's a roulette style project where you roll in an eyeshadow, hit pan on it, roll it out and roll in a new one. Pretty simple. But as you might remember from last year, I kind of got stuck using the same shadow over and over and over again. And I did not feel like I was getting anywhere. And it kind of put a bit of a damper on the project overall. So I went and had a bit of a think and I've decided to change this project up just a smidge in 2021. So my 2021 rules are as follows. I will roulette style roll in a new shadow. I'll be working on five shadows at a time. And my goal is to either hit pan or use them 30 plus times before I can roll them out. So I've used the pretty random app. I've put in the number of eyeshadow pans I currently kind of currently have in my collection. I have not included the Revolu Revolution um, 144 pan shadows yet because I will be changing that palette up. I'm going to be frankening those shadows and then I'll add them into it after I've done that um, because as you might remember from last year I broke the lid off of the package. So um, they have not been included, but I have included all other shadows, though I will not be including my Pan That Palette shadows in this project. So if I roll one of them, hint, hint, I did, I will just be rolling in another number. So let's get started. And as you can see, I've put up here my randomizer. I do it this way because I um, use my phone to film. So I can't really do it on the spot with you. So I do it beforehand. So the first shadow I rolled was number 84. And that is from my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. It is number 11, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 is this one right here. So this darker aqua green color. Let me just give you a swatch. So that is it right there. So that is the first shadow I will be using. And that shadow until right then when I swatched it was in fact unused. So I haven't hit any pans on this palette as of yet, but I'll be interested to see. I do have a video that I did in collaboration with Samantha Pants all about this um, palette, which I'll put up in the cards. Make sure to check it out to get my thoughts regarding this palette. The next number I rolled was number 23, and that was actually Moss from my KVD Metal Matte Palette, which is my Pan That Palette. So I scratched that one off and rolled again. So that one I got is my L'Oreal La Palette Ombre. Ombre. Um, this is new to my collection. I got it for Christmas. So let me just take out this double-ended brush. Okay, so this is it here and the shadow uh, the yeah the shadow I pulled was number four which is this dark brown just here so let me give you a swatch it's kind of a purpley brown more than just a straight brown but that is the shade right there it actually almost seems more black maybe a grayed brown but it's kind of a purpley a purpley blacky brownie dark color the next shadow i pulled is number 96 and that's from my nyx sugar squad palette 
and it'll be shadow number seven which is this bright bright pink so let me just give you a swatch it is oh it is metallic that is it right there it is very very metallic and very very pink then I pulled number 17, which is again from my Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. It's Synergy, so I scratched that one and rolled again. Then I rolled 185, which is my Alexa Stone Palette. And the shadow I'll be working on from this one is number 16, which is also this bright pink. So that's two bright pinks. But this is a matte pink. Let me just give you a swatch. Oh, it is bright. So that is that one. And last but not least, I pulled 308, which is from my Revolution um, Beautiful Darkness palette. And it is Corrupted, which is this gold one just up here. So let me get a swatch of that one. It is kind of um, chunky. It's a very chunky, kind of buttery. It's a weird feeling um, shade actually, but that is it right there. So these are the five shadows that I'm going to be working on. Um, it's definitely an interesting color story, something slightly different. I will probably try to knock this brown out quite quickly because, or maybe I won't. I'm not 100% sure because I'm also working on a dark brown in my Do Japan, my Battleship project I'm doing on Instagram with Jalorn. And also I have a brown in my Pan That palette. So I'll probably knock out the one in my um, Do Japan, my Battleship, then work on the one in my then work on this one, then my pan that palette. But I'll be interesting to try to use some pinks because I don't tend to use pink quite often. So I'll be interested especially to use this bright, bright one from the Alexis Stone palette. So I'm just going to insert for you now a quick picture of my shadows that I'll be working on. And yes, you can see that this is definitely an interesting color story for the first month of this project. Hopefully I will be able to hit pan on one shadow to be able to roll it out next update, but it is what it is, as they say. So I'm Verity, that was the introduction for my Pan Those Eyeshadows 2021, and now to the outro. Thank you.